Welcome to this training video on Law and Rights, a new service available from summer 2016. Law and Rights is a legal database that provides a summary of UK social legislation covering the following topics employment, family, housing, immigration and social security. It is updated monthly. It is a great resource for helping people with any kind of legal inquiry. First, we will look at how we access Law and Rights. You should be familiar with this web page as it is the one that loads up when customers first log on to the People's Network. In the top left is the tile for A to Z of electronic resources and we're going to click on this. As you can see it's expanding now and there will be an arrow pointing exactly where it is. Once we've clicked on this we just need to scroll down to L and the first one on there is Law and Rights. The asterisk at the beginning indicates that it's available at home as well as in the library. And there we again is expanding just to emphasize the point. This is what the web page should look like. It has the search box in the top right and carrying on down the page we can see news articles. Some of these may be useful to your customer. For instance they have at the bottom right today a quick guide to universal credit when applying for a person who has a disability. Just a word of warning though, these articles on the first page do change. So how do you search Law and Rights? There are two ways to search Law and Rights and this video will show you both. It's actually similar to Clio in that you can use keywords or use the menus to find the more general area you are looking at. So first we can look at using the search box. You can type the keywords in the top right as it's expanding now and to finish the search you'd press enter or click on the little magnifying glass at the end. For this example we are going to imagine our customer or we ourselves are interested in the new law for microchipping our dogs. So once we've done the search it will come up with this list of articles and as you can see the first couple don't actually include microchipping in, in the title. However that doesn't mean there's, it, there's nothing in the article, it means it will just be further down in it. So if we click on the first and again that will expand like so and if we click on that one it will take us to the article on the control of dogs. Again no mention of microchips. However if we carry on scrolling down to point 16 it will mention the microchipping and now we can tell the customer oh from April 2016 all keepers of dogs in England and Wales must have their dog microchipped. So we've gone back to the first page because now I can show you how we search by subject. The subject headings are shown on the home page and are underlined in red. Here we have clicked on the subject heading employment which you can see there. The subject of employment is broken down into a list of subheadings for the relevant legislation that can be found on law and rights. Here we've decided to click on the employment of children. So in this instance our customer might be asking, oh how long can my son or daughter be working um, at any relevant age? You may have noticed at the end the Union Jack and this means that this legislation is relevant to all countries in the Great Britain, whilst if it had just a Scottish flag then it would just be relevant to Scotland. And here we are, the article on employment of children. So to review, Law and Rights is a great resource for people confused by our very complicated legal system. It takes complex information and presents it in a simple way and can be useful for various legal problems including the working hours and minimum wage, so things to do with employment law, divorce, family law, planning and then visas for immigration law.